Hey what's going on guys, welcome for another video, it's your boy KNX here for another video and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dirt procedural material in Blender. It's very easy and pretty simple how to create it, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give a like on this video and become a patron and there you have access to all of the Blend files of the tutorials and much more perks. And just one more thing, don't forget to go check out my Gumroad page, I have released a pack of fabric materials just for you guys, so if you are interested on that, go check it out my Gumroad page. Alright guys, so with no further ado, let's go to Blender. Alright guys, here we are in Blender and the first thing that we're gonna do is click Shift A and on Mesh let's add a new vSphere, Ctrl 2 to add two levels of subdivision you can see it right over here on the modifiers tab we're gonna apply it click with your right mouse button and shade smooth just like that all right let's bring it a little bit up with g and z now let's go to the shading panel first of all let's click new to add a new material i'm gonna call it dirt and now to create the dirt we just need to mix some textures so the first texture that we are going to use is a noise texture click shift a click on the search and search for a noise texture if you don't have the node wrangler on go over here to preference and on add-ons search for node wrangler and activate the node wrangler because now i can click ctrl t and uh, it will add me a mapping and a texture coordinate node first of all i'm gonna change here the texture coordinate to object because it works much better for noise textures i don't need the mapping node so i'm gonna delete it and just plug the object to the vector let's click ctrl shift and your left mouse button to preview our noise texture so we're gonna use this noise texture as the main texture for the color and the effect so for that i'm gonna use a scale of 10 you just need to play around with these values to reach the values that you want for your material all right the detail all up to 15 it's the max let's add here a color ramp so we're gonna use this color ramp to create the color of our material right now i have here on white I'm gonna change this from white to a brown something like that if you want the same hex value it's right over here now let's add a new input over here on this color we're gonna change it to a more light one plug the color to the waste color let's see how it is looking we have some shiny parts over here on this object we don't need that dirt is not shiny like it's showing right now so for that we're gonna add here a color ramp to the roughness ctrl shift d on this color ramp to duplicate it with already being plugged in put it over here to the roughness click on your backspace to reset your color ramp just like that all right now this color ramp will be our roughness if i bring this up uh, this black part is where it's going to have less roughness and this white part it's where it's going to be more rough all right so just play around with this color ramp don't bring it a lot but just a little bit and just bring this up something like that now it's looking pretty good so let's add here a bump to add a more realistic effect to this dirt so first of all let's add here another color ramp this color ramp will be the factor of our bump so let's add here another color ramp ctrl shift d to duplicate it with already being plugged in and now let's add here a bump click shift a and on search search for bump we need to turn this color to a normal map so for that we need to plug this color to the height all right and we can see right now where it's going on click backspace to reset our color ramp and bring it just a little bit something like that ctrl shift and your left mouse button to plug our bump and preview our bump right now it's too strong so let's bring it a little bit down and i don't know if you know this but if you if we click here on the invert this is going to add a bump but inwards it's a good way to create other type of materials but on dirt we want this to go to the outside of our material and not inwards all right let's plug the normal to the normal of our principal vstf uh, if you want to change the top part of our dirt these parts over here you just go over here to this color input this last one and just bring it up a little bit if you want so now let's add a little bit of detail so for that we're gonna add here another bump node this will go normal to normal let's mute it we don't need it right now click m on your node to mute that node and now let's add another layer of detail by just duplicating this noise material so ctrl shift d to duplicate this noise material with already being plugged into our object to our texture coordinate we are just going to add a little bit of distortion plug this 
to our height over here let's unmute it by clicking again m above your bump node so let's bring it down a little bit all right this is looking pretty good let's see how is looking our material now we're gonna add some cracks to the dirt material if you don't know how to add cracks we just need to play around with the voronite texture add here a voronite texture so let's click shift a S to search and search for a Voronoi texture, input the vector to the object on our texture coordinate and let's see how it's looking. Right now you have these circles, we don't want that, we want some hard shapes, so for that we just need to change here the F1 to distance to edge. I'm gonna put it the same value, the same scale of these noise textures, so let's put this on 10. I want the cracks to be all around of these noise textures, so if the scale is 10, I need to put here on 10 just to have it at the same scale. Now let's add here a color ramp, let's bring it a little bit up and this right over here, because I only want the cracks. Now you can see that it's not really working pretty well, because we have some hard shapes going on, we don't want that, we want some distortion so for that duplicate this noise texture bring it right over here plug the factor to the vector put the scale on one bring the detail of our Voronoi texture to the max we only want these lines over here like that so let's bring it just closer to each other and now let's use this texture that we created to a bump node so for that we're gonna add here another bump node normal goes to the normal now this color will plug in the height okay let's see how this is looking and this is how it looks on cycles so this was a tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it don't forget to give a like and subscribe the channel it's a very simple procedural material so i hope you enjoyed and if you want to have access to this tutorial file go check it out my patreon page and if you want more procedural materials like fabric you can go check it out my gamroad page where i have there a pack of five fabric materials so if you are interested go check it out my gamroad page just click on the link in the description and that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next one. Bye!